hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then please subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. <laughs> it's getting crazier every time I say it. Um, okay, in front of us we have the Kaimita SR-201 AM FM Pocket Radio. Here's a little story behind this radio. I purchased this radio for $6.61 off of eBay, uh, I think about two months ago. It's been sitting in the box. I wanted to do a review on it, finally getting to it. I bought this radio in November, originally, uh, at the same time I bought this radio. This was 5 bucks, and this was 5 bucks. I said, oh, I'll get one of each. And this one never showed up. The Nia showed up. And we all know the history behind this one. I think you guys know about this. Um, so yeah, this was great for about three months. Uh, the build was all the same. Everybody got the same radio. They're all excited because the FM and AM reception is amazing. Everything about this radio is amazing. The headphone jack is great. Just, it's my go-to radio. I use this every day. <laughs> every day I use this radio. I love it. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those things where it's inexpensive, high performer, and I wanted to find another one for you guys. And so, uh, I never got my Kaimita and the Radio Geek reviewed this one and then he got his Kaimita and he really liked the Kaimita and I'm like man okay I'll go try to get this again so I got it again because I found out that they stopped making this original batch this RD206SP now it's an OR206 I'm glad they differentiated it because the insides are different uh, and they're not not as good not even I would say an eighth of the quality that this radio is so um, just a warning you guys saw my warning video do not buy the OR206 so I had to find a replacement, and maybe this one is. I haven't only really run through the bands, uh, but I'm hoping this one is the trick because sub seven dollar radio, rocking. So let's look at the box. Kaimita SR201, blah, 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 blah. probably means good radio, good stuff, good fun, or something like that. I'm guessing. There's a picture, really crappy looking pictures, kind of out of focus and dark. Um, <laughs> AM FM two band pocket slim radio. Hey, slim, not fat, slim. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's pretty funny. Let's see, okay, it says it there, and it's, uh, yeah, electronics, I can say that. <laughs> Limited. Okay, we need a 163? 163.com. What the heck is that? 163.com. Must be some special website. Simple explanation. <clears throat> Model number, SR201. Band, tuning, volume, power. Two AAA batteries. Okay, right into the battery? What does that mean? Okay, oh, here's a frequency chart. Hey, full AM scale, good. FM, all right. Take this out of here. Nothing in the box. Toss that to the side. Doo -doo -doo. Clean of plastic, yeah. All right, so there's the radio. Let's go over some dimensions, this little guy. Two and one eighths of an inch wide, three and five eighths high, and a thickness of three quarters of an inch. So for comparison, Brought some radios with me, CC Pocket. Dee -dee -dee -dee. The last one I reviewed on the Sony, the SR FS26. Give you an idea for size. And I even have some Iron Man here. So it is smaller than a deck of cards as far as width goes. It's a little taller, maybe. No, about no. The size of a deck of cards. That's awesome. Cool. So it's a little, little tiny pocket radio. Okay. So let's see, what do we have for features on the Kaimita? Left hand side we have a switch. Um, it says on the back FM AM band. So it's our band select. Sweet. We have a headphone port. Headphones, yay. Tested it, sounds great. Um, I'm really happy. Um, it reminded, it's sort of like the Nia, um, in both ears mono. Uh, it, at lowest volume, you do hear something. Uh, it's, so it's not completely silent, but uh, it's not bad. It's like really, really, really quiet, but you just still hear something, but no big deal. Uh, but my Nia over there doesn't have anything at full low volume. So Nia still beats it, but not bad for this radio. Okay. Front, we have a log scale. Oh, Kaimita, of course. Big old name there. So you got your log scale. You got your little indicator window. Yeah, that's what they do nowadays. You got the band scale. 88, 208, 530, 1700. That's nice. They have it all written there. Power. Yeah, there's a really bright LED that comes on when this radio switched on. And then we have AM, FM2 band receiver. The speaker is a one and a half inch variety, which is actually the same size as what the Nia has. <clears throat> Excuse me for my voice. I think I'm losing it. 
Um, it's got a cool two-tone color. I don't know if you saw that. Kind of gunmetal gray and this goofy off-like gray on the back. Okay, right-hand side, we got the tuning wheel. Easy to tune, smooth. I like that. Our volume on off. Okay. And then on the back, we have what the things do that you saw. Uh, we have a vented case. We have the frequency chart in the back. Two AAA batteries, made in China, of course. And batteries, takes two AAAs there. Threw them in. Oh, yay, jumping batteries. <laughs> Hope somebody doesn't mind. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, that was fun. So we can get this closed on camera. It's always the fun part with these cheap radios. Okay, got it. And the top of the radio, the antenna. Can't forget the little antenna. Whopping seven inches. Sweet. All right, well, yeah, better leave that extended. So we're going to run through the band, FM band, at the bottom here. See if we can pick something up. I believe it's step tuning. So that'll be fun. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. It doesn't just... It's a while to turn. They have like a little stall when it turns on. I'm gonna blast you guys out here. These things up in our old age. You can hear it stepping. It's not a bad thing. I don't mind that on FM. Especially to let you lock in a station. Hmm, is it kind of jazz? No, I don't know what that is. Okay. You're listening to Ron Zappia today on High Point in a message call. Let's get some stations here. This is one ten I wasn't sure about. Two cool Chris is in the mix. Now you know. Now you know. <laughs> cool dance music. That's cool. It's, that's ninety two seven. So that's where we were at. It's pretty close to being done on. You gotta go slow. <laughs> Such a little radio, it's cute. <laughs> cool. So yeah, my classical station. Wow, this thing's really working good on the FM band here in this location. Usually it's, it's a dead zone, and I have another radio over here I was playing with trying to get the FM to work, and it was getting like two stations. This thing's getting a lot, so... Good radio so far. Though I gotta wonder how much power that little LED is draining. Jeez. I almost want to go in there and cut the LED out. <laughs> Would you light your way in the dark? Awesome. Good music tonight. Gosh, I want to zip through it, but I can't. There's a lot of stations. AM is going to be interesting. Yeah, I was hoping to get a loop today, but no, I misread my my email and those, my AM loops coming. I don't know, probably end of the month. I didn't realize it was so back ordered. What a pain. I'll just have to wait. No biggie. We'll make do.
Come on, just gotta do some stations up here. Gives you a bit on that. Let's go ahead and do an audio test. Get Radio Tadabur fired up here on 98.1 FM. And let's see if, uh, how it sounds on this little speaker. Is that it? That's it. Cycle system songs here so we can hear. Full volume, by the way. Bumping it. This is a pretty good radio for classical and news. <laughs> not a not a bass demon. <laughs> Alright. So we'll go ahead and turn off Radio Toddabert there. And we'll go to the AM band. I gotta bring this back up because I keep bumping the tripod. It's too low. Alright. So we're gonna have a little AM band scan. We love doing those. So we're going to go switch our band AM antennas all the way down. All right, so we got CC Pocket to come in for frequency checks. It's 10.55 p.m. Central Standard Time. You guys can forward to the end if you want, if you don't want to be around for the AM band scan. I love doing it all in one video. Sorry for those guys who like the four or five minute videos. I'm not that dude. So, all right, there you go. Uh, we're by Chicago, Illinois. Do you have an idea where we're at? And I got my updated list. Yay, I'm on two pages now. <laughs> My nighttime list. Like, I do a daytime list now. Everybody's like, do daytime. It's the best way. I'm like, I'm going to do it. I will do it. So, let's see what it can do here. We're on the AM band. Let me unplug my transformers. I'm sure I got something making noise. All right. Bringing it downtown. So that's 620. Pretty touchy tuner. It's like I let go and it sometimes keeps like snapping back. So that is at uh, Country Station on 630 CFCO, Chatham, Ontario, 310 miles on a 6,000 watt tower. So not bad. That's really good. Seven sixty-seven. First, though, let's give stations ten seconds to. 
themselves on the score and the Xfinity Cubs radio network. Oh, I hit the score already. Dang. Let me pass it. Guessing Nashville's in there. Okay, it's six forty. Yeah, this thing's really temperamental. Um, okay, so that's going to be six fifty, I believe. Um, but yeah, what is pretty temperamental here? Maybe not. Maybe that's six thirty still. Okay, barely got Nashville. Yeah, this is totally directional sensitive. Okay. 670. Remembering Barbara Bush, the former first lady yeah, I don't know about selectivity on this thing. It's it's all right, but nothing to write home about. Surrounded by your family, uh, and, and probably with the assistance yeah, so, of the okay. Seven twenty. So we're on the dial. Seems like it's pretty close to being on the dial. Well, that's cool. That's 740 CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460. I figured it would get that. Most radios do. High risk devices. Jan Johnson, Washington. Turns out one of the four cities in Pearl Jam's brief North American tour this summer will be Missoula, Montana. Uh, WGR. Sold out August 13th. Concert is named Toronto. So, Detroit, 270 miles. So, this is getting like semi locals, a couple distance, but. Yeah, there's no way it's going to get WSB in there. It's not selective enough. So I would say it's sensitive, just not very selective. So ABC News at eight thirty. WHAS. Okay, Louisville, Kentucky. WCCO, Minneapolis. Um, Three hundred miles. Yeah, we're not going to get Denver. Denver would be right. Denver would be right there. <laughs> it's not there. 860 CJBC 
Toronto, 460. So that's good. Um, 870 um, WWL New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. Okay, so I hit a long distance. That's good. Call letters. Yay! Yeah, this is 890. Okay, we're not going to get 80, so. Alright, so we got an idea. Just going to kind of just scroll through the band now. Those, those beginning stations give you a general idea what the radio can do. ESP 1000. Okay, so this radio is just, I don't know if I got a dud. <laughs> it's just super hard to tune. It's doing its own little thing right now. I'm not doing anything. Probably 1530 and 1540. And they're pretty close stations. One's WCKY Cincinnati, 300 miles. The other one's KXEL Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles. It's like you got to be on it. Take a lock in. Okay, so if you have a lot of patience, you might be better than I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, so we're done. Alright, so let's do our final thoughts on the Kaimita for $6.61. Is it a buy? Yeah, for 6 bucks. Give it a go. Uh, FM does a great job. AM local stations come in great. Uh, bingo. Uh, the locals come in, or semi-locals come in halfway decent. If I took some more time, I'd be able to find KMOX and, you know, some of those, um, you know, 1100 Cleveland. Uh, you know, I don't see a problem. It's just those long distance. You're not going to get KOA Denver. You're not going to get... Yeah, I'm not going to get WCBS, you know, the ones that are 800 miles. That uh, I know I got the one, uh, WWL, which was nice, but um, I just, I don't know. This thing looks like it would take a lot of effort to tune. Uh, it just feels like a pain in the butt <laughs> on the AM band. So, but for $6, 
you can't go wrong with this little dude. Uh, two AAA batteries. Like I said, your FM radio sounds really good on it. But this little tiny antenna in this worst spot ever in the house. Um, came, stations were coming in nice, which I was really happy with. And the AM band, not bad. So, 6 bucks, 61 cents gets a buy for me. Because, really, it's 6 bucks. <laughs> You can't go wrong with six bucks. I mean, if they still made this, I'd say, get this one. This one's way better. I mean, it, this one rocks. This one does so much better on the tuning. Uh, but, yeah, that, that's no longer available. So here nor there, I will continue to hunt down inexpensive under $10 radios to see if we can find a jewel in the rough. This one here is like a semi-rough jewel. <laughs> um, it, it can get some work done, uh, but not quite what I want for a... You know, a budget stellar performer under ten bucks, but it's almost there. It's like right there in the money, almost. <laughs> but yeah, for six bucks, just go buy it. You'll love it. You'll have fun with it. Uh, so if you like the radio, big thumbs up. Like the video, and you like Tidebert, big thumbs up. <laughs> uh, if you're new, subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Ding 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 ding. ding. Tidebert is so cool. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. Wait, that's me. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, you're going crazy when you talk about yourself in third party. Um, <laughs> comment below about the Kaimita SR201. Do you own one? Do you want to get one? Uh, I think Radio Geek has his. You can go check out his. Um, I'll put his link to his video there. Check his out. Maybe he has better reception than I do. Maybe his, his units is a little bit better. I mean, I know they vary from batch to batch too. So you might have got a you might have got a jewel and I didn't. So, alrighty guys. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing, and we'll be back with some more. Take care. Goodbye.